Hi there, Simon from SimonWinter.com uh, and the wine I've got today is a Malbec, but it's not from Argentina, it's from Gao, uh, although they don't make much of a play, for, play of it on the label. Uh, it's Chateau de Hautser, uh, that's the big letters there, then Malbec, uh, that's the slightly small letters, then it says Recolte sur les Coteaux de Gao, and then it, on the back label, that's where they've got all the uh, uh, official bureaucratic stuff, so that's where it says Appellation Gao. But um, anyway, why are they trying to hide the, the fact that it's cow? Is that a good idea? Anyway, let's give it a whirl. It's almost taken the rise of Malbec in Argentina and other places uh, to uh, to get the people in cow to get their act together. Uh, and it, every so often there there would have been a great wine from cow, but most of the, ter- the time uh, the wines that have been traditionally made are on that uh, tough and slightly forbidding style, uh, where they are deep in colour but also massive tannins and uh, slightly ungainly fruit, often with a few faults in there thrown, thrown in for good measure. But I stick my nose in there and it's got all the things I like about Malbec. It's got gushes of um, dark berry and plum fruit. Uh, it's got uh, this little herby, spicy, it's almost scented violet type of uh, uh, aroma to it. Feels like it's going to be quite a beefy wine, uh, 13.5% alcohol, so not uh, huge, and certainly in Argentinian ty- uh, terms, that would be on the uh, um, the middle to low middle end for quite a lot of the wines that you'll find there. But for Cacao, ca- it's probably par for the course. Uh, but it smells, um, it smells th- that it's got that, it's got a little bit of uh, rustic earthiness, but not so much that it's taking over and you think it's got... Uh, a, a, one wart is good, a million warts is not good. Here, I don't well, maybe warts not quite the quite the, the term, but it's got character. Packed with fruit, juicy. Yes, all of these firm tannins, but um, nobody said this is a wine that you want to sit down there on the settee and watch with the uh, your latest box set of whatever box set you're into at the moment. It's the sort of wine that you want to pull out with your um, those types of um, of dishes where there's um, a little bit of fattiness in 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 them, uh, 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 but also sweetness. So I think about ham hocks, lamb shanks, uh, that type of uh, that type that type of dish. C- cassoulet is what is one of the things that they'd uh, eat uh, not so far away from here, and um, probably probably here as well. Uh, but yeah, that that thing where you've got the fattiness of the sausage meat and earthiness from those uh, uh, the the beef the beef in there and herbs from uh, uh, from various elements, including the sausages and. Uh, uh, but tasty wine, and um, yes, I mean, if, if all cow was like this, uh, then there'd be far more uh, a cow on the shelf, and maybe a little less Argentinian. Um, let's just hope that the people in cow uh, look at wines like this, see what is possible, and think, uh, I want to do something like that. And uh, because it's, it's still one of those sleeping giants, um, vast potential. And uh, but when you see a wine like this, you can see what is possible. You go, go for it, lads. See you soon.